All right, another great principle or idea that I want to talk about is inside knee positioning. And this is something that I see that's super, super important that nobody is really talking about. Um, when I'm teaching my students, I, I almost have to make this an entire topic of conversation um, so that people can sort of understand what I mean. So go head facing the camera here. When I'm talking about inside knee positioning, there's so many ways that this helps us, okay? If I'm in the half guard, for example, my knee being inside his hip here, this is inside knee positioning, okay? And there's so many instances where this is the case, okay? If I'm in a headquarters situation, I'm getting my knee down to the floor in this inside knee positioning. If I have another dominant passing position where I'm here, this inside knee positioning is extremely important. This pins that bottom leg to the floor, okay? If I'm in a leg drag, for example, the inside knee positioning is key in helping me solidify this leg drag. If I'm in a leg weave, for example, I just have inside knee position with the other leg, okay? If I'm in a knee cut, for example, I'm gonna have my knee on the ground right here um, by his hip, and I use this to help me slide through. But not only in those, all those great passing positions, in the major positions, like side control, for example, I put my knee inside his hip here in side control. Okay, it's still the same inside knee positioning. If I have mount, all I have is double inside knee positioning. Okay, if I have the twister hook where I'm here, I put my knee inside his hip, and this knee that's inside his hip is what helps me take his back. Okay, from an even more kind of advanced idea is I could do it with just the inside knee positioning where I use my other leg and I use my inside knee as a wedge that helps me turn him here and go in to take his back. When I have his back, my knees are inside his hip, okay? If I'm attacking the turtle, I keep this inside space between his elbow and his knee so that he can't underhook me. If he falls down to his back here, I stay in side control because my knee monitors this space. If we're in half guard and he starts escaping from the half guard with an elbow escape here, he's looking to get inside knee position back on me. If we're in side control, okay, and I have this inside knee positioning, he wants to get his knee inside my hip and get his own inside knee positioning back, okay? This all sort of happened when I saw a couple of my students trying to pass the half guard and they're always taught, yes, cross face and underhook are good, but then they seem to get their leg out and they seem to go here, but they left all this space. There was no idea of inside knee positioning. So the person would always recover and then start to go on the offense, okay? So inside knee positioning is something that you see in so many different positions in Jiu Jitsu and it's important to always take inside knee positioning when it's there. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.